Hey guys, what's up? AJ here, back with a brand new video for you guys. It's 28th July and I'm recording this video. And uh, it's a good day. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, guys, so today's video uh, is not a sniping video, but definitely it's a way, uh, it's a one way ticket to uh, get a lot of coins in FIFA Ultimate Team, guys. So yeah, guys, uh, we are about. Uh, on the end of the summer heat event which was one of the great events of EA and guys first of all you need to stick around till the end of the video because you can get an opportunity to make ton of coins in this video you need to watch out on that so you just need to wait and listen to me carefully so first of all guys we EA is giving us a pre-season uh, event which is coming up I guess in a day or so or I guess two days that's max like it might come within two days or something i'll just show you on the loading screen right now and uh right here so one day six hours my bad so one day six hours and as you guys can see he has leaked a team of the year card and two team of the season cards that means uh they're gonna come in packs keeping in mind team of the season cards are already in packs so team of the year which is one of the biggest event i would say the biggest event of fifa um they're really re-releasing them into packs so definitely it's gonna be a big event probably we are expecting some uh, SBCs to re-release so yeah guys uh, I'm not gonna show you which players to snipe or anything like that which I usually do in my videos but I definitely will get them tomorrow so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification so you get that video tomorrow as well and if you're not checked out my previous video you'll get a link to it in the end of the video it'll pop up on your screen so yeah guys um, let's get straight into the video actually um, Team of the Year cards are only cards which have not been released um, in the Summer Heat event and uh, I've got some out of packs investment guys. Out of packs investment can make you I would say around uh, depends how much you invest I mean it can double the price but it also depends on how long you hold the cards for. So yeah guys let's get straight into the video guys. So talking about Team of the Year players guys we have 11, uh, 11 Team of the Year players in the main squad and one extra player. So the extra player is Cristiano Ronaldo who is currently out of packs already so he is already a bit up in price and uh, the other 11 players I'll just quickly tell you the names one is Allison he's already out of packs Van Dyke who is already out of packs Robertson he's out of packs uh, Trent Alexander Arnold uh, he's out of packs De Bruyne out of packs um, Kante not out of not out of packs. Delit not out of packs. De Jong out of packs. Mbappe out of packs. Uh, Mane out of packs, and also Lionel Messi is out of packs. So only two players which are not out of packs from the team of the year uh, team of the year event are Delit and uh, um, the other one is N'Golo Kante. So guys, uh, I would highly recommend you guys to pick these cards up right now guys, right, right, right now. You guys can definitely go for someone like Trent Robertson who are like ro uh, not low rated but they are not uh, high in price so definitely you guys can look for them. Uh, but obviously they are still out of fact so the price is a bit higher. They can even uh, go in uh, price up like the price might increase even more when uh, they, they go out of packs again like for a long time so obviously that could be an idea but I would still recommend highly recommend you guys to pick up a few cards of Dilith and a few cards of Angolo Kante obviously uh, Kante uh, is not a bad shout but the thing is that he's not used for fodder uh, so there's a bit of more risk to that and also that uh, he's a great player actually his gold card is still decent I would say but obviously he um, it's he's he's not usable at this stage if you have played FIFA for a while now uh, FIFA 20 especially so I'm talking about so what you guys can actually go ahead and do is pick Dilith's card because the 85 rated always keeps up because of the fodder uh, and also on top of that guys you could um, pick a um, Dilith with a chemistry style and then again you can sell him for a bit uh, like like 500,000 coins more than probably like that. So what I usually tell you guys in my time for you Highly recommend you guys to pick Dilith up because he has good links. I mean he, he's uh, from Syria um, On top of that he's from Piamonte Calcio. So definitely 
a uh, good shout and a uh, good a uh, good club and also he's from dutch like netherlands so he's a dutch guy so definitely molen so definitely new problem for fora and no risk actually guys no risk and uh, definitely you can pick him up and his price is going to increase so much guys i don't have any words guys because i have done out of pack investment for some summer heat as we see that time i was not uploading on youtube uh, so i really didn't uh, pay attention to that uh, but like obviously i couldn't inform you guys that time so uh yeah guys i would highly recommend you guys to pick these cards up uh again another method what you guys can use is again go ahead and bid on these cards guys right now i'm not i'm i'm in a rush actually um uh i'm in a rush it's i'm not I'm not patient enough to wait for to uh to wait for uh, these players to get sniped by me so i have been bid by me so obviously i'm i'm not even trying to snipe i'm trying to get them for even like a 400 bucks cheap or uh, expensive uh, it's fine for me because in the end i know i'm going to make a profit of 1000 bucks so yeah guys um i'm almost on the end of the video so just listen to this and you can go and the thing is that guys you need to um a lot of people don't know how long to hold these cards on to like how long do you need to keep these cards in your transfer market so what you could do is actually um hold on to these cards when uh, the pre season releases and Oh, okay so like when pre season release in and if some of the uh, card the uh, uh, cards don't come and uh, go out of like come in packs so obviously this guy won't go out of packs so i'll still make a video of something like that sort happens but i uh, i don't really think so that something like that might happen so what you guys can actually go ahead and do is um keep these players i would say for around like 3 to 4 days let the sh shortage happen like at least 4 days i would say and let the shortage come in the market let the player go extinct or anything like that and let the price increase to like 5k 10k but definitely make sure you sell these cards before um the pre season uh, ends i don't know how long it's going to stay in for uh, in fifa 4 but i think it's going to stay for a couple of weeks so it's not really a risk of investment but i would trust me guys uh, you could still get these cards i actually went ahead and picked a couple of trends card uh our friend Alex on the Arnold but I I guess I uh, I got for them for cheap so I thought I'll sell them but going to make profits you know what I'll actually hold on to these cards and when uh, they get up in price or something like that or I'll actually wait for them also to get their price up and you all can go ahead and obviously invest in Trent Alex on the Arnold as well and uh obviously pick him up as well but uh obviously i would not recommend because he's already out of packs so he's already quite high in price he'll go to 20k i would say if he if he has that much of demand in the market because he's just a gold card i mean there's nothing special about it so yeah guys you can uh, go ahead and pick kanti as well for 39 to 40k i don't know what xbox market because i play on playstation but i'm sure he's going to be in the 30 to 50k uh range only Yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video it's a short and simple one it's not a lengthy one though i had to explain a lot because a lot of people don't understand these things uh, and i had to make it clear to you guys so yeah guys if you like this video like always i mean just like the button and subscribe to the channel guys subscribe 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 guys because what we are 80% of us like the people watching the video don't subscribe to the channel so please guys make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on the post notifications so you never miss out because actually guys this is really helpful my videos are actually helpful it's not some rubbish clickbait video so yeah guys um hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification share it with your friends so you and they got to know something about fifa 20 which might help them and yeah guys without wasting any more time and this is aj and i'll sign off